Welcome to all the um, E-Type Jaguar enthusiasts, E-Type Jaguar club members. Okay, so I've, I've fitted up this new, um, this is it, the 123 ignition, it's from the, as you can see, NL, it's from the Netherlands. Uh, I've put the system on, works really well, lots and lots of power. Uh, a couple of things I've got to fix up on it. You can see actually in the picture, I, I, I can show you it on the car, but it's better to see it here because it's difficult to see on the uh, on the actual distributor itself. There's a little Allen screw here, and behind here is a, um, a mechanism where you can turn it to, to different power curves. And obviously you want to do that before you put it in. The only things that I've found with it is this O-ring that's on the bottom of the shaft is obviously brand new and it's a fair, fairly tight to get in. You really have to push on both sides of the outer part of the, the uh, 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 not the distributor cap, but the cases and push it down with both hands. It takes a little bit to get it over. Um, and then just follow the instructions. It's basically, with this one, this is the, uh, it says there, the, the RV. And if you've got vacuum on, you, on your car, you need to, sorry about the, the uh, I'll have to use the light here. Sorry guys. As you can see there, there's a, I've got the vacuum off at the moment um, because I've been testing different... Uh, it, it, you see there on the side it's got that uh, uh, for the vacuum advance and there's the copper wire coming from obviously number one from the front carburetor. Um, you need to make sure you've got that or, or you're going to have a problem with the vacuum coming from the carburetor. Um, so the, the different big difference with this, obviously, um, is there's no real working parts apart from the uh, the rotor and the, and the cam itself. Um, but you do need the lead set that goes with it because on the old system, which is there, as you can see, they're they're uh, they're a screw-in type. So the ones that go into the distributor cap, as you can see there, are, are screw-in style. Um, and they're not very effective because you have to put these little copper washers on the bottom. Um, and these Champion plugs they did have originally, but they're very loose fit. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, unless you're into just showing the car, um, you could always put this on. I guess if you wanted to show it. And uh, uh, but it, it's it's difficult to put on this because it has to go onto the bolts on the on the head on the on the head uh, bolt. And this is the original distributor I had. And as you can see, the reason I've changed it, it worked quite well, I have to say. I mean, you know, considering it came with a car. But you can see the nut there. In fact, I'll turn it over so you can see it better. You can see, maybe I should pull that back a little bit. There you go. Uh, you can see. That that, uh, vac that advance and retard nut there is, is, is completely seized, so I couldn't do anything with it. Um, I did have another one from a Jaguar engine, but that was in the same condition, obviously with the bob weights inside it. You know, it's mechanical and, and there is, uh, you know, uh, you can have little problems with it. It's easy enough to put back in, but I just didn't like these these plugs. They were awful. They, they really um, don't fit well inside there. The new ones are very, very good. But just a word of warning, when you buy them, and as you can see, they do look great inside. And I bought this chrome uh, cable harness or, or, or um, to hold the cables in place, which do, does look neat. But this is a new one from SNG Barrett. There's another style, which has got Jaguar written engraved in here, and then they've got brown ones, all kinds of ones. In fact, this is how they used to be on the C-Type. And I think the XKs are similar, but what I didn't realise was is because this is new from from SNG Barrett is you need the clamps to go across. I assumed that, that this fitted directly onto these cam cover nuts, and it won't because of that recess there. So if you're going to buy this style, you must make sure you buy this clamp that goes with it. In fact, it's on its way from SNG today. I just found out today they do have it, but not for this particular one. So it's something they're aware of now. Hopefully they won't send any out unless they send this because it, even though these line up with the nuts there isn't the depth that you can see there. So I had to, I've quickly made these just to try it out and they'll come off and, and uh, nice stainless steel ones will go on. Obviously the coil had to be changed because again it was a screw in style and that means basically 
the lead there and the lead down onto this distributor is, is redundant but I'll I'll, uh, I'll tape that up and put it into the, make it look like it's part of the wiring harness but bottom line with it is the power is really unbelievable the difference the accuracy uh, and I've not even done the power curves yet so God knows what it'll be like when it's uh, when it's when it's absolutely tuned in completely. So the next big job, I know it seems silly, but next big job now is to take this uh, inlet manifold off. Oh, just a, just a quick one before I forget. Putting this on. Better better go over this first. Let me get the torch so you can see it. I hope this comes in handy if you're buying this system, but it is very very good. You can see down there where the clamp is. Now, you need that little tiny uh, 716 spanner to tighten it up to make it a bit easier. Um, but one of the things is is that the length on that is much, much shorter than the, uh, the original distributor body. So, as you can see here, this shank is much, much uh, longer. Obviously this is exactly the same, but this is much shorter on that one. So this body on the new one is down here a little bit more. And it's quite difficult to get to the nut. So you really need to use a uh, a very small spanner like that. It's a 716, so I bought a short set. And I have to say, they've come in extremely handy. And they're right up to uh, 5 8 but all short shank, all short uh, shank like that. Excellent. Anyway, so, yeah. Just a couple of little points, um, you know, everybody wants to try and get their best out of the Jaguars and uh, a much, much uh, better system. Um, and it's just a basically the red wire goes to your positive and black wire to your negative. That's it. But make sure if you've got vacuum, like I said, make sure it's a V. You know, tell them it's a V that you need, otherwise there won't be a vacuum on it. And um, and when you're setting it up, it, you go through the instructions. It's pretty basic. But when you set it up, you want to be um, uh, checking. What you do is you actually keep put the, the red wire on onto your positive side if it's a negative earth car, and leave the black one off. You put your ignition on, and uh, you turn the distributor body until you can't see the green light, and then turn it back to the, uh, just as you see the little LED diode or the green light you know that's roughly the basic static setting and then obviously you can set it up afterwards anyway so that's it uh, we're uh, getting further and further forward I've got still quite a bit to do I've got the mud guards to put on here as you can see um, the, uh, uh, the main thing though is getting these carburetors sorted out and I'm going on a rally uh, in two weeks time it's it's one of these rallies where you just uh, it's timed from one end to the other but not speed it's uh, it's a local one up near Vienna so and I'll report on that when we when we do it and when I start on these car rides, I'm just waiting for the parts to come for the screws for the butterflies because when you do these butterflies the screws have to be slightly splayed apart and it's really important that you don't use the screws a second time because once they've been splayed and then cl closed again to get them out you don't want to be doing that one or two times you imagine that dropping inside the uh, piston would not be would not make a nice sound anyway thanks for watching in I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos subscribe if you like them and and uh, make some comments as well anyway take care and bye for now bye